Hello everyone and welcome to Tales from Retail, or whatever I'm calling the series. And I know this was a Fanta Rant Friday, but now it's on Wednesdays. This is going to be the Retail Wednesdays and Fanta Rant Fridays. So it'll be two different things. Tales from Retail, Wednesdays, yeah, anyway. So, let's jump right in. So this is going to be another episode about Walmart, because I kind of teased you guys and I feel a bit bad. I know a lot of people wanted to hear an actual story from Walmart. But I really just set the stage for the depressing, misery, black hole that was working at Walmart. So let me go ahead and just kind of give you a couple hours of what it's like, especially the days, more specifically, when I had to work 2 to 11. This was actually um, influenced by somebody's comment who also worked 2 to 11, but they were a cashier. So I worked 2 to 11 sometimes, and I was stuck in electronics. Now electronics, it's weird, because you think it wouldn't be that bad of a department to work in, because it's like, oh, it's electronics, it's video game, DVDs, whatever, it's not that bad. But the thing is, is we would constantly have to take over photo and do everything in photo, and sometimes we'd have to go into toys and take care of toys, and sometimes we'd have to go take care of sporting goods. And occasionally, we have to do all four of those things at the same damn time. And if anything went wrong, who are they going to blame? The people they put in charge, which was us. Even though there was only like usually two to three of us on duty at once, and they gave us four departments at a time. Now, this was because of their poor, awful scheduling, where they would have the sporting goods guy leave and the toys person was rare. I don't even remember a toys person even being there. 90% of the time, electronics is covering toys and photo. So we have three departments we have to deal with. Now photo is kind of part of electronics, but it's still a whole nother bunch of tasks you have to worry about. So it's really, it's a full-time position over there in photo, especially during the holiday season or if for some reason there's a bunch of people getting photos. Because yes, people do still get physical photos. I was surprised by the amount of people that still did. Especially during the holiday times, because they're printing out greeting cards, thank you cards, all that kind of stuff. Because photos, physical photos are still a thing to some people. Now I personally don't get physical photos anymore, but I'm also not like 70, so there's that. So, it was, it was really stressful that we had to deal with that. And another thing is, is we also had to cover mobile as well. So we actually had about five departments we had to cover sometimes. Now, technically, phones were a separate part, but they constantly like flip-flopped who was working up there. So sometimes I would work up there. Sometimes we'd have a phone guy working back with us. Sometimes we'd have another electronics person working on the phone. And it was just madness. So I knew how to take care of probably three different departments pretty well. Maybe four. I was, I was okay at toys, but if somebody asked me where something was, it was ridiculously hard to find. So why I needed to set the stage for this is because when I would work 2 to 11, there would be a time between 9 and 11, or 10 and 11, usually 9 and 11, where everyone in electronics was gone, everybody in toys was gone, and everybody in sports, sporting goods was gone, and photo was of course gone as well. So I had to run all four departments at the same time. That was a nightmare, people. That was an absolute nightmare. Because you're constantly having to pay attention to the intercom to hear if anybody needs help in sporting goods, and not only that are you having to pay attention, but you're going to have to remember that you're the person covering sporting goods. Because it's really easy to forget when you're not always in sporting goods. Hey, if I hear over in the intercom, sporting goods needs help, I need to go do that. I'm, I'm used to throughout the day hearing that, but it's somebody else's responsibility. But once I'm given the keys to that department, electronics and photo, that's my responsibility now. And of course, I didn't know too much about sporting goods because I was always in electronics unless I was forced to go over to sporting goods and help some. You know what? We actually had more than that. I'm trying to, oh my God, I'm sorry. But we also had to take care of paint sometimes as well. We would get the keys for paint. So 
It was ridiculous. I, I can't believe I'm, I forgot this, but sometimes we'd get the keys for paint. So I'd have the keys for... Okay, so the keys for sporting goods would also work for paint, but you had to remember what specific key it was, and there was a bunch of them that looked like the key that would work. So you'd be in electronics, which is... Here's the store, okay? Here's where electronics is. Here's where paint is. You'd have to make this huge trek. It's about a five-minute walk to get to paint. As you're over there, nobody's in electronics. And, of course, AP doesn't like that because they don't, you know, want you having their stuff stolen. You are the watchful guardian of everything in electronics. And those little spider apps don't do anything. So you go all the way over here. You help them unlock their crap. You come all the way back. And... By that time, there might be the AP guy there, and he's chewing you out because you had to leave. And usually I would snap at them because I'm like, this is, this is what I have to do. I have all these different departments. If you want to cover one, that's great. If not, shut up. I'm not dealing with it. That was, of course, after being there for a couple of months just because I was getting sick and tired of people yelling at me for leaving. And then another thing is, is not only are you covering all those departments, but all the stock that the stocking people do overnight... We were told to just start doing it for them before they got in. So not only am I covering all those departments, but I'm also putting a bunch of stuff away. While I'm putting stuff away, I have to you know, check at the counter, see if anybody's there, check the photo counter, see if anybody's there, and listen to the intercom to see if anybody needs help anywhere else around the store. That doesn't have any coverage because the store's fucking stupid. And during this time, normally it wasn't that busy. Normally it's just me listening to the shitty music on the, like the intercom and I just want to blow my brains out because I'm so bored and I have nobody to talk to and I'm just listening for the intercom and I'm putting stuff away. And it's, it was awful. That was definitely the worst part. I remember one time it stayed till midnight and that was really the worst. I I only had a couple times I was scheduled to 11. Actually, no, it was more than a couple times. I had quite a few times I was scheduled to 11. But finally, when I was about six months in, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I'm not staying till 11. So I started to stay until 1030, which still, I mean, at least I leave a half hour earlier than before. But I still have that half an hour to hour and a half of just pure misery. And you're, you're thinking to yourself, Fanta. It's only an hour. It's only two hours. Who cares, you know? Not that big of a deal. Believe me. When it's, you're by yourself and you have nobody to talk to, those are hours going to be dragging. Those hours are going to be dragging horribly. And they did. Every single time. I remember we had Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 on these TVs that were in the middle of the walkway. And I think I watched that movie... At least 15 to 20 times just because I was either done putting stuff away and I'm just standing there at the counter for like an hour and a half, two hours with nothing to do, listening for the intercom and then helping the occasional person find a DVD. It was, I can't watch that movie, obviously, to this day. I'll never be able to watch that movie again. I've seen it way too many times and it just, ugh. It's like being in a prison where you have just one movie. Like, that's all you're allowed to watch is that one movie. And also, with this time, you're supposed to get a break every couple of hours. But because of the weirdness of how they kind of carved out the hours for that schedule, like that late night schedule, I usually lost my 15 minute break. So... Everybody would take their 15 minute break before they left. So there'd be a bunch of people taking their breaks before nine. And then when it hit nine, they all left. But I wasn't able to take my break because before that, they took all of theirs. So it just added to the already misery that I already had. It was like putting salt and lemon in the wound and it was ridiculous. And here's a story Maybe I should save it for another time, but here's a, a specific story of a time where I almost lost my shit. Because this woman was asking about a DVD. And I was like, okay, um, we don't have that. And I didn't have to look around. I knew we didn't have the DVD. She's like, well, I don't, I, I don't believe you. Could you check for me? I'm like, okay. So 
Walmart doesn't have a digital catalog of all the DVDs we have. We don't have a digital catalog of anything. It's ridiculous how archaic Walmart was when I worked there. I'm sure it still is. Half the cash registers were damn terminal systems. It was so stupid. It was like I was playing Fallout 3 or something. You're trying to like hack in the terminals. That's what we used to check people out half the time. Some of them have the touch screens and those are great, but even those don't have a catalog of what they have in stock. So we have this huge binder that the, the department managers were supposed to update all the time. They barely ever did. So we know it's outdated, so you have to then scan it with this archaic um, handheld scanner that was just as bad as the damn terminals. You have to go through a billion menus to see anything. And I remember all these weird combinations of like F3 and F6 over here. And then that's how I get to this screen. And I have to hit this button over here. None of it's labeled. You just have to remember it. And... So I open up this old ass binder with half the pages are fallen out. I'm looking through it because it's alphabetical order and I find the title she's talking about. I scan it. We don't have it in stock. I'm like, we, we don't have it. So this fucking bitch goes to a manager, like an assistant manager of the store and is demanding that she get somebody to help her because she doesn't trust me. She doesn't trust... What am I out there to do? Why would I target you? Why do I give a shit? Honestly, I have nothing to do right now. Why wouldn't I help you? And she said it in the c***iest way you can imagine. And my assistant manager held it, held it all just fine. I was about to snap, but she kind of gave me that look like, I'll take care of it, don't worry. And she got two of the overnight stalking me, because I'm about to leave. This was like... A minute before I was about to leave and these fucking bitches came up and were acting like pieces of shit so she directs two of the overnight stalking people to help her and they're looking around the DVD area and of course it's not there she knows it's not there but she knows this person's a fucking bitch and she even tells me she's like don't worry about it I, you're obviously not in trouble this lady's a fucking bitch she said that and I commend her for it that was great um, that was one of the shining moments that I had in Walmart with a manager. Most of the time she wasn't that cool, but that in that one moment, she took that bitter, awful period to my end of the night and made it great. She really, she really made me feel a lot better. I love, I love that she called her a fucking bitch because you will see it time and time again. The manager's just sucking the dick of the customer to make them happy. Because that's what managers do. That's what they're there to do. They're there to make sure the customer has the best shopping experience because the customer is always right. F the customer. 90% of the time, the customer's a piece of shit. If they're calling the manager, they're probably a prick, honestly. There's very few times a customer's asking for the manager or they genuinely need the help of an actual manager. Ah, oh, how does that rant for you? Mmm, that was a real rant. Didn't think I'd get that far into it, but uh, and a story. There you go. Finally got into an actual story, but those people, man. It was ten fifty-eight when these people came in demanding a DVD and I'm the one person there and I'm, I'm trying to help them and they're still assholes it it boggles my mind they came in like assholes they asked me immediately like an asshole like if they had the DVD and it was ridiculous ah anyway so there's that um, sorry sorry for the the mess ups with me speaking um, I'll get better, honestly. I'll get better at just doing these no scripted things. All my reviews for stuff are usually scripted or I cut out a lot. These I'm going to keep raw. I'm going to keep them real. So that was one of my many late time stories I could tell you about people at Walmart. And I think I, I'm already trying to formulate the next story I'm going to tell. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's rant about retail. Of course, Friday coming up in just two days will be Fanta Rant Friday, and I'll be talking about gaming stuff. Comment down below if you have a story from retail. I'll probably 
Um, I don't know. I might ask a different question every week, but it'll always be retail related because that's what this series is about is retail. So let's do people that worked at retail. What was your worst experience at retail? I don't know if I asked this last week, but if I did, I'm sorry. But this week, definitely do comment. What was your worst experience working retail? I don't care what store. I'm going to start getting specific later on, stuff like that. But just any time you work in a retail environment, what happened either customer or manager related that made that day just shitty. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a fantastic day.